Hello everybody, Jumbo Jumbo. My name is Sharon Wabaraka and I am back on Real Talks. Uh, apart from the Real Talks, I also do ministry. I do have a, an official YouTube channel where I post my music. But in today's video, it's all about the motivational talks. And I would like to talk to African parents in today's session. African parents that are raising their children abroad. And I would like to use this opportunity and put my professional background or knowledge as I am talking to the parents that I have targeted today. And the reason why I would like to um, particularly speak to our African parents that are, are raising children abroad is because I have realized there is a very big gap of knowledge in terms of raising the children that you're raising in those foreign lands. Now, what you find is that when we left our countries of origin, the law was different from the country of um, the, the foreign country that we have gone to. And I do believe that obviously things have moved on with times, even in your country of origins, you will find that um, times have moved and the laws are also adapting. They are also very different. The sad reality of the parents a lot of the parents and when i say african parents just to be clear here i don't mean all of them but the vast majority of the ones that i have spoken to the vast majority of the ones that i have come across fit in the criteria of the parents that i'm talking to today now what you find is when you go to a foreign country there seems to be a reverse of roles and for me, that seems to be where conflict starts. You tend to find that women are more empowered and they have more rights than they had back in Africa. Now, I am African myself and I am very, very proud to be an African woman, to have been raised by African parents. And so I'm not talking about things that I don't know. I'm talking about things that I have gone through myself and I'm talking about things that I have witnessed in my professional line. Now, because of the reverse of roles, what you find is a lot of women have now become empowered. They have jobs. They can earn as much as the, the men are earning. And because of that, they are empowered. Now, back in Africa, the role of a woman, or of a woman was very different from the role of a man. A woman stayed at home and raised children while the man went out to look for work and brought back food and, and the money that was needed. It is not like that anymore. And when you come to the West, when you are raising your children in the West uh, or the foreign countries, there is also the empowerment of your own children. There's a law that protects those children and they are equally empowered. Now, you and I are going to agree that those of us that were raised in Africa, children were there to be seen, not to be heard. But we are raising children in a land that says children are there to be heard and to be listened to, and they have a voice as well. You cannot beat the system. The problem a lot of African parents are getting into a lot of trouble is because you want to raise your children the same way you were raised. It's not going to work and it can't work. And like I said, you can't beat the law. You're living in a land that takes law very seriously and it is adhered to. And that is where a lot of conflict comes in when you're trying to beat the system that you can't beat. So what you get or what I get, let me say, in my line of profession is that there is a lot of defense coming from the parents only because they don't want to be told by somebody else what to do they's got they've got this attitude of i know it all you don't need to come and tell me what to do who are you to come and tell me how to raise my children who are you to come and tell me how to run my home who are you to come and tell me what to do i already know what to do and let me tell you to be honest that attitude it's not going to go down very well with you now we are in a country or in countries 
where the law sends um, professionals to become involved when there are conflicts within the family. And that is when you get put into a test. When you've got other people coming to interfere with your family life, coming to ask you questions, I hear uh, people calling it reporting. It could be perceived as reporting because um, when an authority, an authority figure comes into your house, then obviously you've been reported and not a lot of people are happy with that. However, can you justify that raising children in a toxic environment is good? Who would like? to be in a toxic environment and justify that that is a good thing. And so what the law does in these foreign lands is it tries to break those cultures that we have been brought up with, tries to break them and tries to make you change positively so that you are raising your children to become better adults themselves. If that cycle is not broken and you raise your children the way you were raised, it's going to be a repetition of a cycle that never ends. And that is where intervention is needed. You cannot raise children the same way you were raised and expect that they're going to be better adults in the future. You need to move on with times. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is the role of the absent father. And I'm talking about this role of an absent father because I've come across many parents and I'll talk about the fathers because those are whom that complain a, a lot. They, they say that the children don't listen to them. The children listen to their mothers more. The children don't want anything to do with them. And I'm going to go deeper and I'm going to talk about fathers who have separated from their, the, the partners, the mothers of their children. And a lot of what I hear the father saying is that the mothers are refusing them to see their children. Now, I want to address this issue here because every human being that is born is born with a mind of themselves, a body and a soul. That means those children, they, they have thoughts, they can reason. And children learn through observation and through hearing. When they, are, when they are young, they hear things and they keep those things in their brain or in their mind. As they grow older, they start to observe what is happening within their environment. Now, anybody, and you're going to agree with me on this, anybody that keeps hearing a lot of negativity, they will try to, to, um, to defend themselves or to get away from that situation because nobody likes hearing negative things all the time. And that is the same with children. If you're raising, if, if the children have been raised in an environment where they are seeing a lot of negativity between their mom and dad, they would defend the weaker person. And most of the time, because women do a lot for these children, it's them that are going to be running around for school work, for, for school runs, helping the children with school work at home, cooking for these children when they go shopping they see mommy going for shopping if they're not seeing you as a father being involved in their lives and you want to force yourself onto these children it's not going to work i'll tell you what you what will work whether you're separated with the mother or whether you're still living together with the mother you need to be a present father and you need to spend quality time with your children and spending quality time with your children it doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You can come and spend a couple of hours together, do things with the children, give them advice. They will forever remember that good advice that you give them. If you're not present as they are growing up, if you're always busy working, you're always busy with your friends, you're always busy with other people, that is what they see and that is what they learn. And a lot of Fathers are complaining, saying that the children don't want to see them. And then they want to blame the mother, saying that the mother has intoxicated the children to a point where they don't want anything to do with them. You need to sit and think what you did to that mother in the presence of those children. 
that has made them make up their mind that they don't want anything to do with you. Stop blaming the mother and start taking responsibility. Children are a blessing and not everyone has been blessed to have children. So if you have been blessed and you have children, you have brought into this world, irregardless of the differences or the difficulties that you're having with their mother, children should not be brought into those differences. Spend quality time with your children if you want to raise happy and healthy adults in the future. And again, let's move on with times because times have changed and times have moved. The things that happened in the past, leave them in the past. This is a different era. Let us raise our children in the current era that we are living in and we are going to have a happy and fulfilled family life. Baraka.